compliment. Fair and, enough. All right. Are we done the compliments? Should we start going here? Oh, we're, I was going to tell you. We're waiting on you. I, man, but I'm not I, I was that waiting anymore. for the conversation no, to nope. end. No, no compliments learned it for by you, watching Jeff. you, okay? <laughs> all right. Here comes the intro. Welcome to Everyone Racers. A show designed for the world of low dollar racing and an oddball car culture. It doesn't matter what kind of Lemma Champ or Lucky Track Dog League you run. SECA or NASA, we won't discriminate. As long as you drive it hard and build it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussions, tips, and tricks, as well as news and notes it's from the world of amateur endurance racing. And whether it's on the spot, tell us we lucky enough. And Chrissy, and Chrissy, Chrissy, and I give you just the tip. We're sure you'll giggle a little and this is chris this is chrissy i'm jeff and i'm very disappointed jeff did not click on the link in the show notes because i had booby trapped it and changed it to something utterly absurd did you rick roll uh, him i apologize no i was not i was not gonna rick roll him i Excuse was me, gonna do uh and the host is disabled screen sharing. Oh, I and thought I did even share. better when you click on that video. This video isn't available anymore. The link may be broken. Uh, well, so. you, it's not available, I think, to you because okay. you don't have it's, it's you. Right. It is now, we're now eligible faces. for sharing. If oh you my okay. god, yeah. do we oh, want to start the show over again? This is ridiculous. No, no. This is hilarious. Uh, uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta go back and do the uh, I gotta unshare. Wow, this is this enable is the sound. Now. This yeah. is yes, enable sound. This is good. We are we are good video. This is good audio friend. here, everybody. We are, all, all right, right. We're just keep vamping so, and waiting. Yeah, we're nice. not even vamping. We're just here comes mental's joke. Goodness gracious. Uh, yeah. Taste the ass. goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Don't get that honey sauce on me. I, I don't know what that is. What? I don't know what it is either. Like the it's way literally it a guy and a woman in a thrift store. We don't see that. We menu. see your. We see a we car. We see racing Joe. Oh, Chase crap. the biscuit. All right, that's yeah. fine. This that's is good. the worst good. intro ever. Let's go to the show. And Taste we the biscuit. Are everyone yeah. racers, welcome to the British Virgin Islands episode of our podcast. It is two eight four, which is the area code for the lovely British Virgin Islands. Am I the only one who has never been there? Like, I haven't. You all take vacations to like warm play. Okay, anyway, uh, unless you're sailing out of Road Town or on your way to the soggy dollar bill at Yoast, solid dollar bill bar at Yoast. Van Dyke, be sure to open up your E1R bingo card and play along with us because you never know when you're going to get it. You're welcome, babe. Yeah, uh, I was supposed to be turned off when I did that. <laughs> she was making sure I had something to drink because I'm a gimp. Oh, that's fine. I don't uh, have any legs that work, so my wife needs to get me drinks. Oh, boy. You have a dog? It. She was just making sure I brought my own. Yeah, don't what His drinks are the size of his dogs, so I'm pretty sure it's difficult <laughs> for his dogs to bring him drinks. Yeah. I guess Rika, maybe, but no. But <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah. no oh, the other see, two. I don't see Moko or Cheech bringing me. Yeah, you're right. They, no, they're they might the be able size. to kick it or something. <laughs> yeah. they're, not, they're not doing a good oh. job of bringing it to you. So why don't you tell everyone why you're so gimpy and need a beer brought to you or whatever? Okay. That uh, I, don't so, I don't have any legs. Well, I've got one. So uh, I had my, uh, the, the long standing Haglands and bone spur taking off of my ankle uh, last Friday. No, Thursday, Thursday. Cause you uh, had to move it up a day. Uh, so I am walking around with one of these bad boys. That's a, that's a boot. hell of a boot you walking yeah, the, boot you got there. The, the robo boot. So uh, hence my modified knee scooter from last week, which is way easier than crutches and oddly enough fits in the Miata better. So that is what I've been doing. And I spent Do you bring your, your, your little cart, uh, your knee cart in the Miata? Yes. Unless Vicky's coming someplace with me because <laughs> I can Pass either have... <laughs> You can choose your truck or your wife. <laughs> right, exactly. I can either have the knee cart or the spouse. So do like, you have one day um, we went, we went and I had to take the crutches and crutches. Where are do you exhausting. put the where do you put the crutches and your wife? Oh, the they they, they go in the passenger <laughs> seat and they run the you know like a like a safety bar that comes down yeah. the center of the 
Oh, oh so classy. Well. It so requires classy. putting the top down to get them in and then the top back up. <laughs> Do you put the top back up or you just have to make sure it's a nice day? Uh, no, they'll fit in there with the top um, top up. But yeah. This is uh, sad and funny. So there's that. <laughs> Miata life hashtag, yo. I mean, That's sure. Vegas, it's always a nice day. So funny you should say that because all right, hopefully this time it'll work. Just today, we faced uh, a damn environmental disaster. And I'm, if you're watching on YouTube, brace yourself, viewer, because what you're about to see is truly shocking. So hopefully it's working. All right, your screen share is loading. A train full of hazardous chemicals. There, there it is. Your- okay, there it is. Um, and it's a, is the video is a bit jumpy. No, that is snow. This very afternoon here in las vegas you know uh, there global warming's happening because- right the, the full extent of the damage may not ever truly be known it was 50 degrees when i drove home just 40 30 minutes ago and and yeah and so we're we're, we're starting to heal but yeah that's that's snow that you're Did you put up and i survived the uh eight flakes in las vegas <laughs> i think i think all those signs were sold out as soon as everyone saw snow they all went to go get snarky uh you know stickers right, to put good. on their cars uh today but it, yeah it's, it's snowed in las vegas i um never mind that i'm still sitting here in a t-shirt but warm enough in your house then anyway so that's um i uh i yeah i, I caught up on a bunch of tv shows and movies that I normally would get bored and, you know, go do something else. Uh, and I, I will say uh, thanks to everyone who's reached out and said, hope you heal quick and, and want to make sure I wasn't actually in an accident. This was quasi elective scheduled surgery so I can get back to running. I appreciate everybody's words of encouragement. Um, and I did finally watch Maverick. Uh, I'm just going to say one B2 and that would have been a 10 minute movie, but I, I still enjoyed, I, I enjoyed watching it, but speaking of flying and actually doing things interesting, Chris, what are you, what are you working on? Uh, well, I wasn't flying again because wind shear. Now, for those Dumb. of you who are not involved in aviation, wind shear is basically when the wind will all of a sudden blow like down instead of across. <laughs> is that a bad and thing when you're flying at like a, a milk crate? Small lightweight planes? plane. Right? Yeah, exactly. it's, a, pretty much. it's a bad thing in a 707. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, my instructor was up, you know, the hour before we were supposed to go out and, uh, in a Cessna 172. And he says they dropped 500 feet in two seconds at one point. So he said, probably a problem. Yeah. And also, they had a 50 knot winds at 3,000 feet, which when you're flying a plane that is capable of flying 50 knots, I mean, it'll go faster than that, but it's actually capable of maintaining loft at 50 yeah. knots. We could basically just, it's a helicopter. You know, Not go yeah, forward. Just stay there. Yep. Look at that. Yep. Great job. <laughs> Airspeed 50, ground speed zero. Zero. Right. Especially because we were going to be practicing some slow flying. So that, that wasn't going to work out very well. So anyway, uh, we did not fly, but did all kinds of paperwork and things to get ready for flying when we can, which is not this weekend because of weather, but hopefully the weekend after. Um, we fix stuff at the local library. That's not that nice community service. Chris, you'll tell us more about that. Sure. I mostly fix the neighbor's car because uh, they're a nice uh, older couple that live next door to us with their daughter too. And uh, it was eight o'clock at night. Someone knocks on the door. I'm like, well, that's strange, but let me see who it is. And it was our uh, Gloria next door. Her uh, 2011 CRV wouldn't make it up the hill. She so we'd, she had walked up the hill because she didn't have her phone and she, her husband wasn't home either. And he's recovering from uh, leukemia. leukemia. Oh, good. So, uh, he, she's like, can you help me out? I was like, yeah, sure. So, you know, grab the caddy and a toe strap. And we, you know, I went down there. It, it'll start, but wouldn't idle, wouldn't run. You know, and we live on a chug, hill, chug, so chug, it's chug, right? not getting up the hill. Right. So caddy towed it up the hill. We pa- backed it into the driveway. Thanks to gravity. Check some things. Um, I, it was, it, it, it was misfiring. It would barely run at all. It would move a couple inches. That's, that's as, the extent of how much it would run. Um, no obvious problems with the ignition coils look good. Plugs look good. Fine there. So no codes, I'm assuming. what? No codes. codes. Oh yeah. Codes for all of the misfires. Okay. Codes all everywhere. the misfires. Just had every codes code. everywhere. Right. right. So check engine light flashing, you know, all that stuff. So I said, well, it seems to me like a fuel pump because it, it'll kind of go. And then uh, like it, it kind of, and then not. 
So, and it doesn't appear to be ignition. Again, this is a, a modern CRV. It's coil on plug. Like, how many things could it be? So, order new fuel pump up, <clears throat> and got that in, and it was better. Like, it runs, it drives, <laughs> but then if you get a little, you know, you, it, it. I got like a couple blocks away, and then, boom, started to run poorly again. Oh. Strange, right? So then I'm looking at other things, poking around, and I said, well, let me try unplugging the mass airflow sensor. And I did. Car drives great. It'll, it rev limits itself to 3,000 RPM, but with the mass airflow unplugged, it goes to an alternate map, drives great. So we ordered another one of those. It'll be here tomorrow. So install that, and knock on wood, that actually finishes fixing the car. I think it was two separate things, because once the fuel pump was in, Carl, idle fine, drive, drive pretty well, but it still has this weird... Uh, you know, occasional misfire issue and things, but so let's see if what the happens Needs with the pump. mass airflow. Yep. Well, we did full pump. Yeah. Also, this yep. took a couple of days. So fortunately, they have two cars, but now they're down to one. And we were like, let's hope this fixes because it's a couple of days till we get the part, yeah. and then we put it in, and it doesn't. And there's another couple of days with to get. They the don't next go part. You, two different places that yeah. often. So. No, not so you, much. You've mentioned this is a. Uh, I don't want to say tolerant folks, but uh, they have they have visibly laughed at some of the antics that have shown up in your driveway. They're oh yeah, oh, more than that. Supportive, yes. they oh, are supportive completely neighbors. supportive. They are, yes, yes, they are wonderful neighbors. You know how you move somewhere, you're always like, oh, I hope our neighbors are all right. Yeah, we totally lucked out. Really I mean, nice these are people. like beyond like we're friends. That's that's yeah. how great these people that are. Is, yes, that's yeah. fantastic. Yep. When we yep. when we saved uh, the car, they brought over bags of like they found me gluten free Oreos. Yes, um, but they gave us like all kinds of snacks and gave the cat treats and like yeah, no, they're fantastic. Really, really good neighbors. Good. Totally. Okay, um, moving on. What else? Uh, so remember my this update and the welder welder saga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> broker <laughs> Eastwood welder. So um, Chrissy brought it in there Eastwood a week. Tig welder. Yes, almost two weeks ago, brought it in after you know, I had talked to Eastwood Tech Support, and they're like, I don't know. So um, I get a call on Tuesday afternoon from the guy who runs the local Eastwood store saying, "Hi, uh, yeah, so your welder is uh, is non repairable." No. Oh. And they didn't right? say anything. I said, I said it's all right. It's literally well, brand new. <laughs> I, I said, okay, well, I got gotcha. you. What? I'm out of, we all know I'm out of warranty by time, but this is like a car that's four years old with 3,000 miles on it that just blew the motor. To say that I'm disappointed that I have an $1,100 brick now is uh, putting it mildly. So looking for some kind of goodwill here. What can and you of do? Course, I have you, a whole you variety of just with like products. This. Yes, I have a lot of Eastwood products. I speak highly of your products. I would up. like for that to maintain, to, to continue. I have a podcast. I didn't we didn't go that. there. We didn't go there yet. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. I didn't get there. So I said, can you talk to your boss? Because everyone has a boss. See what you guys can do. I would appreciate that. Hangs up the phone. I get home. He's flipping freaking tables. Yeah. He is so pissed. I am. You're so Because this shouldn't break. Oh my gosh. It shouldn't okay. break. I did four inches of aluminum welding. Four inches. That's it. Right. Okay. Something's so obviously wrong. Anyway, today the guy calls me back, says he was able to find one, because this is one they don't make anymore. They upgraded to a, an LCD screen model, the digital. Anyway, a different store has one. He is able to provide that for me to me for what their normal repair cost is $106, whatever it needs. So he's going to give me right. another welder said, for $106. Fine. Pay the I thanked him very dollars. much for going to bat for me and getting this done. That was very nice. So I will say uh, faith in Eastwood mostly restored. I will still hesitate slightly at buying another electronic product from Eastwood, but they did stand behind this particular instance. So there we go. Well, and All right, we rock on really Eastwood. Give us a call. With their... With their MIG welders. The MIGs have been uh, fine, but th yeah. that those are simpler. This is a much more complicated piece. Uh, all kinds of stuff going yeah, on yeah. on a digital TIG with inverters and all that crap. So when we literally did nothing but use it a little bit, it's on its own circuit. It's on its own plug. It's just there's yeah. no reason for any of this. And they don't even tell you what the damn light was for. Ugh, no. don't get me started. The fact that they did this helps a lot. We're a little bit better. I'll say that. Okay. Imagine, you know, we've all spent time around, you know, welding shops. It's 
it's it's like a feed store for people that you know build <laughs> stuff. No, it is. You just go in there and you just chat and talk with people. And I imagine their welding or repair staff is probably really annoyed. They're probably all like, "The hell, what's this like for? Don't even know what it's for. Why won't you tell me what's it's wrong?" Oh, with no, it? they did know it was for overload. They did know that, but oh, um, man, but that's just yeah. They, that's I mean, we've question. all seen Chris's Legos from when he was a kid and the original boxes with the instructions. There's no way Chris broke the welder. Yes. Did they give you like a reason it broke? No, not yet. No. I'm mm -hmm. going to ask that when we pick up the new one. Because the guy he said he didn't have the paperwork in front of him, which I believe him. He's a guy I've seen this guy yeah, runs yeah, around yeah. the store. So, but I would like to ask, like, what really happened here? Like, why yeah, help me did out. this like ice why is lemon this go from that we've new owned it for the brick in four seconds? Well, not four seconds. You used it as another welder. So you did yeah. use the welder, just not sure. with for a loop. I only used the AC yeah. for four seconds. And in four seconds of AC, fried. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Welder, a little bit better. We don't have it yet. We'll more on that story. Okay. So I uh, am I'm not sure everybody knows. I have been on the library board for a while. I'm actually the board chair at the moment. Um, also, I have a husband well, who's I very. Didn't know you, I didn't know you were the board. Chair I am the now. board chair. Yeah. Yeah. Board chair yeah. It's Chris. lovely, really, really great. No, it's not. Um, I have more drama that I have to deal with now. Do you so, know who I am? Do you I'm... know who I am? I am my local <laughs> library's board chair. Uh, I'm so... betting everybody that uses that library is really happy you're the chair. What? Debatable. Uh, <laughs> they, yeah, right. They don't know. Also, uh, it's all politics. It is so much politics. So anyway, I libraries, as you can imagine, don't have much of a budget. No money. We have no money is really what it comes down to. Uh, and so we have things that need to be done. I also have a uh, library director who is pregnant. All a bunch of girls, just their their college student girls that sit at the front desk and none of them can install some security cameras. But I have a handy husband. So I say, we're going to the library. So we just did, we replaced a whole bunch of lights. We've installed some cameras. Uh, what else do we do? Install lights, fix. Well, we looked at a toilet. So things like that, that we just walked around, bought some parts. Um, yeah. So we did that on Saturday. It was great. Uh, and it was cold out anyway here, so we didn't really mind. We were inside most of the time. I did a little bit of studying. Uh, my youngest sister's birthday. Uh, we had a birthday party over the weekend. Yeah, other than that, all good. Jeff, what do you got going on? Uh, it got a little warm here on this side of the Delaware River. So I got a little bit of work done, but not a crazy amount because, uh, you know, family things. But I, I got the clutch and the transmission all set up on the 4.8 liter LS that's going into the RX-7. I cleaned up the motor mounts like in the car and I literally installed like the swap mounts like four times. Like I put them in and I went, no, nah, it's not right. And I flipped them over and I put them in again and I was like, Nah, that don't look right. Other looks look better on the other side. And then I was like, uh, maybe that one goes like four times. I moved the mounts back and forth trying to figure out how they work. And I, I'm not sure I have them in right, but then it got dark. So that's really all I got done, which I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, more to come soon. It is going to be Vegas levels of warm tomorrow. And <coughs> you mean it's going to snow? Well. Snow apocalypse? <coughs> I might have to call out tomorrow with a case of race car so, yeah, it's gonna be oh, sunny and 70 here it's gonna you be do know your some of your students listen to this show right <laughs> ah, not matter. tomorrow not oh. by tomorrow no, no, um, no, also <laughs> tell my boss i'm gonna be like yo boss i'm not coming in it's also supposed to be really cold again this weekend on so, saturday it's right. gonna be freaking crazy, just freaking so, cold so yeah do it so, now uh my wife is away in the world of gatorland donnieville of orlando florida uh with her best friend visiting her daughter who is on the disney internship so i've also been plagued with josh uber service and will continue through the weekend so no matter what the weather is if i don't sketch out of work i'm not getting any work done this week so whatever i'll figure it out cool chrissy would you like to announce the next section usually do it so that's why I I, well but i'm the, i've got the first story so I don't fine want to go it's news and notes time i think chrissy's microphone clipped i'm not sure mm -hmm. uh hey everybody knows iRacing. racing everybody knows forza everybody's got their 
sim setup but the og racing simulation isn't done yet gran turismo if you have the playstation 5 it takes them 27 years to write the game comes out every now and then like when the moon is blue and all the planets align <laughs> uh yes but it is the game that introduced the world to accurate driving physics emulation back in 1997 taking sim racers into real racing and piloted a real nissan gtr around a track with a remote control at one point um everyone knows that they've they've worked with ladder series and the whole nine yards but anyway they have a new trick tim marvin at mashable.com tells us gran turismo 7 will let you race against an honest to goodness real ai not like some old ai like a current ai sony is calling it gt sophie i'm guessing s-o-p-h-y sophie uh and uh tim marvin says he believes it's going to be nearly impossible for the average racer to beat it head to head how well this is real ai like i mentioned an honest to goodness peer-reviewed study published by nature that's a that's like an actual academic uh uh whatever they call journal that. journal yeah it's a journal sophie beat four out of the world's best gran turismo drivers and since then, because it continues to learn, has only gotten better. Wow. Uh, don't fret. That was on the hardest settings and head-to-head -head and comparable cars. Obviously, you can dominate the AI and pretend you're hot schnights. Uh, because the most Gran Turismo way possible, drive a fully modified car in a beginner race, and the parameters will stay down at the car's actual physics and the AI will drive at the level that it assumes you will be in a beginner race. So I guess there's yep. that, right? It's like beating a six-year-old at dodgeball. Right. <laughs> <Take> that. <laughs> Sad. Yeah. Uh. Oh, so there's all right. That. That's a, a, a story in Mashable. Uh, it does have a link in the Mashable story to the Nature Journal, but because it is an academic journal, you need a password unless you go through the Mashable article. Then it allows you in. So I'm only going to post the Mashable link, but you can get to the journal from there. And if you're an academic nerd, Donnie, if you're listening, you will love to see this. There's charts and numbers and graphs and things. <laughs> Check it out. All right. Are you done? So whoever's typing? Mm -hmm. uh, not, yes. Okay. Uh, H&R cooled VWs once uh, had an option for a clutchless manual called the automatic stick shift, which is confusing, auto, also known as the auto stick. I can't say from experience, but my bet my co-hosts say it was awful. The was Peter, awful. Uh, the Peter Holdreth mm -hmm. at the drive that tells us that the endangered shift your own transmission might get a, a life extension from Hyundai. Called the Inter Intelligent Manual Transmission, or IMT, it is essentially a regular six-speed manual transmission minus the clutch pedal. Disengagement and engagement will, aut will be automated, and you are about to grab another gear using the described as an intention sensor in the shift lever, which, turn which in turn tells the transmission control to hydraulically manipulate the clutch for you. The future is here. It just doesn't have a clutch pedal. Sounds That's lame. That's interesting. So like the Italians have been doing the automated, you know, wet clutch, you know, paddle flappy shifters. Paddles. Fla I don't want to call them flappy paddles because then people think about the crappy ones. There are good ones now, you know, and, and, and Hyundai has a good one. Supposedly uh, the Volkswagen's one is excellent. The, yeah, the, the Porsche I mean, one is PDK excellent. Is, PDK we've is all amazing. used those in the Porsches. They're quite good. Yeah. So this is just moving basically a PDK. The floor. But with a lever. With a lever instead of a flapping yeah. paddle. Okay. I I'm down. And what's I'm down. I think what's interesting about it, if you've got an intention center, much like the PDK and the v VW and Ferrari stuff, it knows the difference between you loping around in traffic and then getting on it. Oh, I think it's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm to do it. Do it. Yeah, I was, I was sure. sold on the PDK the first time it did a double downshift in a hard braking zone for me. I'm like, yeah, that's actually exactly what I need. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I have become quite addicted to the rev matching that my Hyundai does. Like I, I'm like, this should be on every stick on the planet. Yeah. Cool. All right. We talked about the electric Myers-Minx dune buggy, but the company is now offering also 
a modernized, easy to build version of the original dune buggy kit. The original Myers Manx has been copied and emulated, but this is an opportunity to quote, build and drive an authentic legend. Matt Posky over at the truth about cars tells us about the Myers Manx remastered. It's still an affordable fiberglass kit that you put on a shortened air cooled VW pan. And it, it's about $6,000, but now it leverages and claims that the decades of advancement in modern production techniques like 3D scanning, digital design tools, CNC technology to create, again, quote, the most precise self-assembly set to date. You also have an option for a locking truck, not available on the first one, and a hella sweet selection of metal flake paint jobs. A link to the story and the Myers Inc. website is in our show notes. That's fantastic. I think we... That, please. Problem sure. because, anyway. It's hard to get like a... Where do you get a beetle pan that's not just rotted away or has something decent on it? That's the problem. These I don't know. Do you have them? <laughs> okay. No, in Vegas, Vegas, I think is what he's yeah, saying. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mexico. Bring in a Mexican beetle. It's true. Right? It's See? Rock. When they build them See? to 84 or something like that? I think, yeah, they, I, I want to say 88, and I almost bet we get corrected with our listener I, feedback. The, the van they kept building beyond that. It's like almost sure. like 2000, I think. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, don't worry about the van. Don't worry about your Myers makes. What you need is a race car. And if you want a single seat race car and you want it cheap, how about this? Mental, hit the link I put in because it's a little different than the link you put in and give that a share. This is a 19. 98 kbs 8.5 f500 formula race car this is a true single seat open wheel no excuse race car it is in upstate new york it's ready for autocross or road racing it needs a little bit of body work but no big deal he'll sell you the body he's got a new body if you want it comes with a rotax 494 rave motor not sure if that's a good one or not but it's got new tires and a new transmission, which if you don't speak F500, that is a, 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 a clutchless CV kind of deal. Uh, it's only $8,000 or $6,000. Excuse Six me, $6,000. Yeah. I mistyped that. Uh, Mental had picked one that was $3,500 and needed some motor work. But man, that sucker sold. It was not oh. available tonight. Wow, so, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here's well, the see, deal, that's people. How, that's how quick good deals go on Racing Junk. That's com. right. Racing Maybe. Junk is not screwing around. They are selling cars left and right. This is the cheapest way to do a single-seat formula car and get into all of your uh, SECA slash NASA races, the F500. Uh, it's really practical. These things uh, run forever. Uh, the guy says he's 6'2 and 195 pounds, and he still has room like two. He has to pull the seat in like two inches for his legs. So get it. Go to racingjunk.com. Pro membership is only $25 a year. If you use the code POD23, that's half the price. So you get a half size little formula car and get a racing junk uh, subscription for only half the price. Heck, you get the racing junk subscription and not even buy the race car because it's probably going to sell really, really quickly. There's, uh, given our percentages on uh, on low, uh, under $10,000 cars, there's a strong possibility someone who's listening right now is going to buy this thing. I know. <laughs> Okay. Look, there's no contracts. You can cancel any time. Make us look good. Use the code POD23. Five ads, 50 photos. You get to see who's watching your item. You have a dashboard. And here's the best part. You can get the early access to the listings. So if you don't want to get sniped for the next time an F500 shows up, pay the $25. Get the early access. What else do I need to say? Go check it out. Do some fantastic. Do, yeah. Scroll around. See the cool stuff they got. Racingjunk.com. I want to provide an update to the information we just provided about air cooled Volkswagens. The Type 1 Beetle was produced in Mexico until 2003. Whoa. In air Thank you. Form. Fine, yep. sir. The wow. Type 2 Bay, the van which originally was split window and later became the, the bay window. So let's consider those basically the same. The air-cooled Type 2 was made into in Brazil all the way until 2005, and then it became water-cooled until 2013 using the same basic body and design. That's pretty fantastic. 
upcoming races. Luckily, my son's away. He makes fun of me when I do that. Uh, fresh off the season, opener Lucky Dog is kicking off the Carolina Cup at CMP for their Every Dog Has Its Day. Are you ready for this? 47 cars, 11 BMWs, 7 Miatas, 3 Hondas, including an 88 CRX GT. Chris, there's no such thing. What the hell is a CRX GT? I, it's what it says on the thing. There's, there's no such thing as a CRX GT. There's also probably, no. yes, that's what I know. Oh boy. Three Porsches, an 01 Stratus, a 96 Crown Vicky, only one Mercure XR4 Ti. Is there anybody around the table who will bet me 10 bucks against Darren against the entire field? What pro Darren? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. taking Darren. You get the rest of the field. Oh, ten no. bucks head up. No, no, no way. No. You know, it, this is the thing about Lucky Dog. You know, Darren's got three of those really cool Rebellion watches because Lucky Dog gives that kind of stuff out, and he won't let me have one. <laughs> also, this field really looks normal there it was a nice list of cars that were just normal and when i was trying to look through the list of funky cars it was just kind of like there's bmws there's miatas there's you know a couple of hondas like it was just nothing yeah there was a i don't know it was just it doesn't it's not like aer and some of the other ones that are just you know pro type oh, you know you're like 35 right like yeah. and people are just C6. like we don't even know what that is and 97 so seven cars 94 bmws three porsches and some guy who misread the entry form yeah. and yeah. Uh, right pretty and much. yes so it looks like so he probably has a good pretty good um chance to winning so don't forget uh east coasters we're talking to you lucky lucky dog has the southern cup this three event points championship will be held at the newly paved popular cmp uh february 25th 26th at on atlanta mother sports park amt amp hosted by discovery parts on may 20th the 21st and returning back to cmp for the grand finale hosted by lifeline usa on september 23rd and 24th and that is this where the Southern Endurance Cup champion top dogs will be crowned? They do they give you the watches that day? I don't know. I think Darren said that they get mailed to them at a later yeah, date. Either way, you still get uh, crowned. When I see it, when I see him, he's like, Well, I got one, but I'm waiting on the other. But that was like a year oh. ago. I don't know. Okay. I said, Oh, good. Did you bring it with you? No, I didn't bring it to the race. You suck. <laughs> well, because then you'd find a way to weasel it out of his I wrist might, when I he's might. drunk or something. Okay. Anyway. Race it results. Is that better? Yes. It didn't <laughs> cut out that time. <laughs> well, then I can't yell. It's boring. Okay. So uh, winner on laps, or sorry, winner on IOE, excuse me, much more important. The Scooby Doobies and a Firebird. Halloween That's meets that gasoline. green dango Camaro. I love that team. They are a group of really fascinating people. Oh, they that the one up. that looks like it's hit everything but the lottery. Yes. Already. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it was an old dirt track car. And yeah. uh, I just, I, I was remember frightened by that car when I was you should be. <laughs> you need a technus shot, but the first time he came, you know, he was uh, the, the team, you know, they, they had never run limits before and they were very kind of guarded and you know, they got into a lot of trouble and we ended up having to park them for a while and that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden on Sunday, their entire attitude changed. Hmm. And I talked to him, I'm, I'm friends with him. They're really, really good people. And he's like, I've been racing dirt track and motocross and all kinds of stuff. And he goes, and, and, you know, that night in the paddock between the two races, no one is your friend. No one helps you out. No one walks by and offers you food or tools or parts. He had never, and he's a, he's our age. He had never seen that. And just that one night in a lemons paddock was enough to completely turn their attitude around. And they have been aggressive lemons folks. They do rallies and they're, they're just great to have around. And I'm so happy that they got there. Good. Excellent. HMG went to the Stanford highly incompetent team of racing in a Honda Accord. It's such Any a idea what their theme that is was? a gorgeous car. It's Good a, acronym. They had a they had an art the last year when it showed up. They had the art department painted, and it's it's beautiful. All right. Okay. Heroic fix was Cabernet in a Volkswagen <laughs> Cabrio, which cute. no surprise like there. Good name. I like yep. it. Yep. Okay. 
I got screwed, went to Brathverse Racing and another Volkswagen. I'm seeing a trend. <laughs> Let, let's let's talk about that for a moment, everyone. <laughs> if you want your car to break a lot and get the heroic fix, or the I got screwed because you didn't get it fixed, <laughs> Volkswagen problems. or Or to burn down your garage so you oh. get screwed out of the I got screwed. Whatever. Because you weren't at the trophy ceremony because your Volkswagen tried to kill you and your family. Mm, good story. Maybe not a Volkswagen, people. That's right? a dumb idea. Flash forward. That's a, that's a, we're going to talk about that later. Go on, everybody. I'm sorry. The Yokohama Road Mangler Cup went to Prince and the new power generation in a actually very pretty purple Mazda Miata. They are listeners and they do, we, uh, we follow each other on the gram. It's a, it's a fun looking little car. Judge's choice was hit and run racing in a, well, it's a Mazda Miata, but that's not like that's a trend or anything like there. And then the what? organizer's choice was tired iron racing who, uh, okay. They were in a Mazda Miata, uh, but I don't want you to think people. that any of that was biased. Wow. 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 <laughs> well, somebody likes Volkswagen, somebody and we'll have some more coming, uh, but, but winners, uh, class C is uh, junk runners in a Ford Ranger. Uh, class B went to our fabulous friend. Sorry for party in the uh, portion uh, uh, champagne showers. Nine forty four. They battled with a hundred and uh, battled with the hundred one car, which was faster, but uh, didn't have the three and a half hours of fuel. I think we ran out. They ran out of gas in the last laps. Had enough to lead it. Uh, lots of drama for that team. Good and good and bad. But and if you way. go to our Facebook page, you will see the recent uh, Lemons World video on Sorry for Party Racing. Everyone on this screen is featured in that video because yeah, we oh, yeah. solid. Uh, the overall and damn it, why do you screw this up? We had we we bagged on Volkswagens. We said how terrible they were, but the overall actually went to a Corrado, a Volkswagen. Really? It's there's only in one Corrado. It's therapy. it's Jay St. Yeah. Clair. It's yeah, always Jay St. Clair. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, and let's, this let's... is the third time that car's won overall. It's a. Uh, it's it's a it's well built, well driven, well supported. Yeah, let's quickly talk about it. I'm not going to get into too many details, but uh, the WAP, the wet ass Pontiac, pour some uh, out for the solstice. for the mighty yeah. mighty former uh, penis mobile, both yeah. coast. That car had quite a life. Uh, it was involved in a very heavy wreck. It ended up red flagging. Uh, it's done. I don't know how the other cars did. Everybody seems to be fine. Dean, our boy. Uh, the oldest, sorry for party racing. Uh, he's 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 the guy who looks like everybody's dad in the paddock. <laughs> he's probably as old as I am, but right, you know, probably he just usually wearing a bathroom. Yep. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He was behind the wheel. He is the uh, owner and head prepper of the 944, but was behind the wheel of the Solstice when man, three cars don't fit or four cars don't fit in that three car spot and blammo into the wall. Everybody's fine. Uh, good. We've gotten good reviews on our cage building twice now. So I guess that's good. Cause... For people that don't know, yeah, we we built that car the first time and raced it once. And then COVID happened and it made its way west because yeah. Tim was going that way. Well, so. we didn't really own it. So it was always well, yeah. Matt's we, car. We, 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 yeah, Matt, it was Matt bought it, bought it, caged it, and built it. You, no. We lost your mic there, Chris. Yep. Sorry. How about okay, that? Okay, there. Yeah. We, we put a cage in it, built it, raced it once. We were going to race it a couple more times while we were waiting for the Z to be done. Yep. And, How'd that go? Uh, yeah, yep. great. <laughs> oh, well. We know we're good. Out, yeah. We're good ca so, uh, cage builders. That's hey, we've good. got two cages that have been tested, unfortunately, but both have passed when flying colors. So, so, so if you've got a cage that Chris, Jeff, and Chrissy helped you build, don't need to test it. Just oh, please yeah, don't. don't test Do it. Not, yeah, just stop. don't. Stop. Don't. Stop. We 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 are batting a thousand, and would <laughs> love to just keep it exactly. We've got the perfect test sample. We don't need any more at all. None. <laughs> Thank you. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and just just another quick shout out for the Lemons World video of Sorry for Party Racing. There are some great shots of the wonderful Pontiac Solstice, including Chris driving the Suburban onto the corner to straighten it out and jumping on the hood, which actually appears in our uh, in our intro video. Both of, the, both of those are in our intro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Fantastic. Oh, well. Oh, and, and all the race CSI people, cut it out. Right, You're not going to figure it out. Nope. Listener feedback time. Our last episode was with Awesome Concourse head gasket, Alan Gilbreth. Let me just say real quick here, yeah. Alan, 
Alan, for some reason, I posted as Dave for like a hot minute. I apologize, Alan. I know your first name. I did it right everywhere else, and I screwed it up on the YouTube uh, like oh, cover. Picture? Oh, picture? Oh, what Just one goat. God, just one oh, goat. What Alan. The anyway. Okay, go ahead. Go on. So we were discussing the various wonders of the event. Um, Patrick L. asked, how did you miss the Gucci AMC sport about? It's got all the things. <laughs> no AMC station wagon and Gucci. It is amazing. I had seen it before. Uh, and I think that whoever it was, um, Patrick posted a picture of it. It's amazing. It, it, I, I had never heard. I did not of know such a this. wondrous creation. And I am now on a quest. The downside is, is I probably live in the part of the country that, that you only have a hope of finding one of these and the very thing that would protect a don't. Gucci AMC would also destroy the most valuable part, oh. which would be the interior. Yeah, uh, the interior, interior is spectacular. Is, oh, oh no, is so that, good. that logo, what, is, whoo. Yeah, Even I know, the Gucci right? Gucci logo and the, it's like a, it's like a leather purse in there on that door card. Right. Link in our notes. This is bad podcasting. Let's go. This is amazing. Uh, Alan also mentioned the Pino panagira is that how you say it i don't remember uh, uh, mike h is, is is you know leave it up to y'all pod listeners to correct anything that's going on here right, right he took the time to email us that quote got around to listening to last week's episode it was a hoot of course alan galbraith is always a treat but i believe he has forgotten there was in fact a pinto pangra at the very first concours de la mont oh, wow. in 2009 he even included a picture wow, of wow. That black beauty on the Mike h has nothing else to do <laughs> Yeah. Just kidding. I'm just, race, but so no, I, that's amazing. Yeah. He even emailed us again today to, to, to let us know he might know where an enterprising team could get one of those pop-up headlight front clips for a Pinto. <laughs> awesome. Wow. I was kidding. That was not a, it was not a nice thing to say about you, Mike H. I'm sorry. Um, uh, we also had a lot of conversation about future classics on the Facebooks. DJ914 had a list. Suzuki Batara. The tar, right? Uh, Cadillac Alante with the North Star, and that is a car that is worth one percent of the original cost. I, I Azuzu think it's been done before, I think. Right? Impulse, yeah. Lotus not in edition. a concourse. It's been done in a race. Yeah, by coin. A, uh, Azuzu Impulse Lotus Edition. That's a great a car. BW Routan. 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 Uh, the SEL with the better motor and Bilstein shocks. Our the Renault Alliance and an encore and the subaru justy it's a pretty good list good choices all, all good lists yeah yeah on youtube andrew s commented was laughing so hard when chrissy mentioned bringing out the s m gear to dominate the rollback i should have pulled the car over uh, your take on that <laughs> your take on that stupor coop comment made my day oh thank you Moot point racing thanked us for the shout out wanted to make sure jeff knows that that awesome garage also has a shower. Yeah, that that's too much. That sauce. Awesome. Jeff would never leave. <laughs> <laughs> then I wouldn't leave. I wouldn't have to leave. Uh, Al told us about his two door explorer um, that he bought for eight hundred dollars on Craigslist. Quote: I love that thing. I originally got it got it to me through one or got it to get me through one winter, but ended up putting on another seventy thousand miles on it over wow. the next five years every year i'd have to make some janky rust repair with tiger hair and <laughs> spray foam try the oodles and noodles if you haven't seen the oodles and noodles anyway um just to get it to pass pa state inspection finally had to junk it when the oil pan rusted through and it created a small biohazard on the street in front of his house you'd think oil oil pans would be self-preserving but not on 90 Fords, I guess. And uh -huh. uh, do you all remember that my oil pan rusted through on my Mazda 3? Yes. Uh -huh. Happened to my C85, or 86 CRX too. It's like, you yep. think that wouldn't happen, but it yep. does. It does. Nope. Especially if they get a dent in it. So pretty much. Hey, you know who never dents their oil pan? I was oh, going to say, you know who's so, do you know who's self-preserving? And I'm convinced oh. it's the cookies. <laughs> Sure. I don't you even know think who, she eats her own cookies. What? You know who knows how to do stuff with oodles and noodles that isn't fix rust repair? Mm, maybe. 
It's Chrissy's mom. It's Hi, my mom. mom. Hi, mom. All right. It's Big oh, Time. Who's going to intro this? I don't know. It was Mental's right. idea. It was Mental's right? idea. Yeah. Why? And I said, you know what? I'm just going to throw this out there as a spitball. And we'll brainstorm off of that. And my all smarter than me co-host went, great idea. We'll do that. So. Got it. <laughs> who is the dumbest of us? And you can decide. We know it's me, but but hear us all out. So we came up with this. It's, it's you know, you've all, well, several of you have been to Lemons Paddocks or other Champ Paddocks or the restaurants, whatever. And sometimes there's a bit of, drinking and some drinking inspired uh, <clears throat> brainstorming that goes on. And we over the years have both sober and modified come up with some, we think great ideas and then some really, really dumb ideas uh, for builds for themes and that sort of things. So we're going to go through what we all remember is our dumbest executed or not executed. And by throwing this out there, these are yours. If you can beat us to the punch on this, please do. Because if you're listening to this show, there's a good chance you could probably do it really, really well. And we would all love it. It would be hysterical. Before we get into that, so we've we, we broken it down into, uh, you know, what we call dumb or brilliant builds, you decide, uh, brilliant or dumb themes, and then just some other dumb or brilliant stuff. We are going to go down a few rabbit holes. So come with us on this journey of insanity, if you will. Uh, let's talk about, <laughs> and I know we were trying to talk about ideas, but Chris's response to the dumb builds is both illuminating and honest. It's so great. I love it. And this is also uh, continuing our ethos of learn from our mistakes. We've made plenty you can either make them even worse or uh, don't do these at all. So, so on the uh, dumb builds idea, mine was something I actually did. It was that I had the hubris to think that I could get a heavily turboed Honda to last more than three endurance races. I was able to make the heavily turboed Honda. It, I did it really cheap and lemony. And it was amazing. For and two and a half wasn't. races at a time, right? <laughs> Every single time, it was amazing for two and a half races. It was so fast. It was fun. It was light. It was balanced. It got you know great fuel economy for how fast it was, and then it would blow up. Debatable on the fuel economy. Well, it, gets, it, it was it, good. It was good. It was, it, like was six, good. it was like six and a half an hour for a car that's well, that was bad. pointy and fast. That was that's good. Yeah, the, the, I feel the like there was. Better some insanity there because we literally did it over and over again and we expected the same we expected well, a different result every time i changed something it wasn't exactly the same oh you got the dice out pretty much well, i got yes i, I got the dice say, I, I improved did it, things he did every it time. harder so does bruce yeah. when he did, do messes do with his more, cars do it more gooder I did it more gooder. At first, it was slap the turbo on that old motor that has 30,000 miles on it and go. And we did. And that was like, well, that blew up. Oh, well, you know, that, that one should well, have that, blown that up. That generated a lot of heat, not a lot of horsepower. It was more like yeah. what it did. Well, then eventually we put it back on that motor with an air cooler and an oil cooler and all the stuff that it needed. And it was better. And then it blew up that motor. We said, that's fine. That motor didn't know us anything. We wasted so, we put so much time together. that summer. That, oh, that yeah. whole year I was all so those cylinder wasted. Heads. That I that was those. really the problem. It was the the amount of labor hours. Yeah, yeah. huge. Yeah. Every, each one of those cylinder heads. Impossible. The first one took me like forty hours. The second, the third one, I was down to twenty. But if yeah. I'm not mistaken, though, there was a conversation with the piston manufacturer, and you had custom pistons made because I think I yeah. helped. I, I think I helped assemble that motor. Yeah, that was yeah. the the. Oh, the which most one is that? Oh, the most yeah, disappointing blow up ever. The one that went on the dyno and just kind of went. Eh. Yeah, that's exactly. Oh, there was that, that one that. <laughs> yeah, that was that too. It didn't even do anything exciting. It just went. Nah, I'm just not running right. Uh, <laughs> suddenly. Yeah, that yeah. was that is. Th that's, that that, is well, dumb. that's when I. That was the third round, and I said, "No, no more. We're done." And we went, "Okay," and didn't look back. Right. Yeah. It took us a long time to get there, though. It was so good when it worked, though. Like it was so good. Remember coming up over the hill with Thompson? You say turbo power, and you just pass everybody. I mean, right? yes. Yes, but then I, I remember uh, it because like we do it now with the K. 
Yeah. Sure. And sure. we don't think how unreliable it is. And like, is this going to, does that sound bad? I think that sounds yeah. bad. Right. It is handled it better than because it just, it weighed less. I also remember it, all the boost cut. Yeah. Well, that's because I was at the ragged edge of how much boost I could possibly shove down this thing's throat and make all of these things are so wrong. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wow. so yeah. Nope. How, I, I don't think I ever got a chance to drive any of the turbo Hondas. Um, what was the noise level compared to the K? To the turbo. Oh, it's quieter, it but quiet. cooler. Yeah, yeah. Quiet. okay. Yeah, yeah. You cooler. didn't drive it, or is that when you were working away? How did you uh, not drive uh, it? It was at least a year. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think it was. Yeah, I think I you were away. I was down and wor- you must have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, didn't get, I didn't get to do much. It, it, it used to question. do fun okay. blow off valve noises, so you come yeah. come up next to somebody and pop off and blow off valve and it, like right at right them, and they right there. Yeah, they would notice. It was still loud. I have a follow up question because this is the dumb section and tonight we're talking about this it's all thing. dumb this is all this dumb. is all the all dumb, dumb thing dumb ideas, bad ideas this is the dumb section got so, it okay so some of it was hubris and some of it was self-inflicted can you will you admit to the people i think i know what it is what the dumbest error was that caused the demise of one of the motors well, one of them as apparently i cracked a piston ring when putting it in and that's okay. what led to the demise of the. Uh, third wasn't there a time that you forgot a shim? Uh, no, a, a, oh. a, 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 the head oh, pin. Uh, oh, that one. That was a different. Yeah, that's that was the only one a I head. Was that was only a head gasket problem. Yeah, I didn't put the dowel pins in the head. That's it. The head yeah. block. Why yeah. is his head that moving a, around? That was well, a thing. It why, wasn't. Why is like, his head obviously. shifting? Why is it right? And it took Manny mm-hmm. and both of us like looking. I got the head was off. We're looking at everything. Like, why is it doing this? What is that wrong? And Manny finally looked and said. You know, this uh, is Friday. This is, it's Friday, Friday night, maybe yeah. Saturday night. Manny finally looks and says, "So dowel pin, where's your dowel pin?" I said, "Oh, <laughs> dowel pin." <laughs> well, because I never sometimes it's in the block and sometimes it's in the head, so you have to. Yeah. Have he a, knows where it like, is. You look at, but you look at the block and you're like, you just assume that the pins in the head. You look at the head, yeah. you assume the pins in the block. So, how about the time yeah. the wiring was wrong and you? looked at your and you we didn't couldn't bring the car anywhere and you wanted to smack your head against the wall because you Those couldn't get the, the car with run. the k-swap that was because was that the k i couldn't remember which k. car that was that was the install one, okay one black and black with yellow stripe power wire is switched only in position two where the other black and yellow power wire was switched in position two and three no see that's just bad design that's not your fault. Sure. Honda, what are you I put a there? Ice, black and yellow switch power. Yeah, sure. Got that in. No problem. Oh, on the other black and yellow wire car runs great. No. Got it. Give, give, give me a second here. I have to update yeah. my sheet because I, I didn't realize we were talking about like actual possible things. Let me see here. Uh, real Model T. I guess I got to get rid of that here. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Here's my. Been done well. No, no, no. That was not a real Model T. That was a. It had real Model T parts on it. <laughs> yeah no i Some. mean big wheel like <laughs> wooden spoked hand controlled advance throttle on this side that's yeah. what i, I can hear else. john pagel from here going no <laughs> yeah but eric would let it on the rally though <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you would want to kill yourself very well, shortly you, though you could make it safe like you could make it just no you can't really no wheels. with no, those you wheels can't, you can't no make it safe. Feel safe you could wear a helmet you're, you're yeah, sitting it's, gonna, it's gonna you're go eight miles trunk. it's gonna go eight <laughs> miles an hour well, and that's, that's even not more unsafe. safe and then it might catch on fire if you wore well, your whole race suit the model t's time. will go like 40 or something like that True. so not eight if you is, put a cage is, on it. Not eight if you is add like a, unsafe. Not if you put like eight hundred oh, well. pounds Move of on. cage. Hey, no, no, dumb, no, my, dumb, my, that is dumb not idea. Going to be discussed tonight, and what is oh, going to be discussed did. tonight is my incredibly dumb but brilliant idea. Everybody will be doing it now that I've said it. Randy, even you, swapped RX eight. Okay, let's talk about this. RX eights are beautiful cars. They handle great. They're light. You can buy them on Facebook Marketplace for like a broken Xbox. You could literally swap it. Like it'd be like, 
uh, I got a, I, I got a pot full of food. Like I, I, I got a dime <laughs> bag. You got an RX-8 with a busted motor? I'll take it, right? The right motor swap and that chassis could be really competitive. The only question is Ecotech, LS, 3800, or K? Hey. Which would you do? K. Okay. Well, you would do a K. I'm saying, what would the world Why wouldn't you do a K? Ks are great. Well, uh, I would pick none of the above, probably, and go for something like the newer GM V6s that are pretty lightweight. They put in like the everything. high value, whatever. Yeah. One of those. 3,900 or whatever it is that they put in everything and they're, so they're worth nothing. And you get that in a Camaro transmission and uh, a Colorado yeah. transmission, right? Not a or that too. Yeah, all, yeah. all, any of the above. I think they all do the Colorado. Transmission. Right. And then, uh, um, Bin. Whatever, whatever the tuner that we all use, what, what's the tuner we use in LS stuff. I don't remember what it's called. The, um, Oh my gosh. Why am I forgetting it? Um, what? Everyone tuner? knows it's blue yeah, and black. Yeah, yeah. Is it... or whatever, or... Okay. No, no, it's no, the, the one software. we use for the LS stuff. Anyway, I'll figure it out. But anyway, yeah, you get yeah. do one of those GM tuners, and I think that would be super cheap and good power if readily available. I, you're not wrong. I, I like I said, there are a hundred different ways you could make that happen. HP tuners. That's HP it. HP tuners. Thank you. I was googling at the same time. Yeah, okay. that, that's it. A, a broken RX-8 is the has the residual value of a half-eaten tuna sandwich. Get it on Facebook Marketplace. Put a new motor in it. Piston win. Dominate. Piston win. Dominate. Okay. Piston win. Dominate. Yeah, or something. Put Did in they a do- piston <laughs> motor, not a not a wankle. There's yeah. Chris. Ask me if I want to have magic spinning Doritos. Hey Jeff, do you want to have magic spinning Doritos? Fuck. No. Says okay. guy who it's won not... the betting pool on when it was going to pop. I called it. <laughs> and we fix it. <laughs> no, no we can't. No, it's messed up. Anyway, uh. I still love me a Mazda RX-8. Right. Who else has got something? I, I'm, 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 I'm stuck on this idea. I would love to get either like one of those Legends Dwarfs cars or even probably a, a better choice, a Thunder Roadster. Great car which you can't have a full two frame brace car. You have to have crumple zones. You can't have any bars past the front suspension, but the suspension on those are actually kind of modular and you could mount them. And I would, I would love to do a grafted eighties era mini truck onto one of these things. They are powered by 1000 CC Yamaha engines. They have sequential transmissions because basically you're just putting a shift rod onto the shifter on the motorcycle engine, they weigh next to nothing. They actually, even at full song, get pretty good gas mileage. And I'm betting you could throw a 22 gallon fuel cell in it and run it for a run good period of time. Yeah, yeah. Like nine hours later, be like, mm, should I fuel up? Right. I don't know. And, and it's not going to be fast, but it's going to be quick and it's going to handle well. And I just, and you could find these d- legends cars and dwarf cars that need some work, or maybe they're just not going to get back out on track for six or less we talked about uh last year uh one of the nasa races a girl named alice she found two of them for six thousand dollars and turned them into one good thunder roadster uh kind Man, of a deal i you'd never find one because the import tuners have sucked them all up but like a toyota starlet or like the no no that, little... that's the thing if, if you if you got a truck because trucks are cheap and they're available and so you mount one onto that yeah, it, no, no, I'm down with you. I'm just saying I could go even lighter. But you, the it's the wheelbase. You go lighter, yeah, you're and smaller, right. you need a longer and wheelbase. Yeah, you're you you now you're yeah. starting getting in there, and it's going to be slightly unstable. And then also, where do you put the fuel cell? Because with a pickup, you can put the fuel cell between the axles, and you still basically keeping the mass of everything between the axles, and it's a, a mid-engine car. So it'll be a little twitchy until you get it sorted, but it would. I don't know. I'm in, I'm convinced this would really be fun and it would be a center seat, which that's fun. Make strapping in, you know, your, like your a driver. A little. Why not? Yeah, exactly. So, or like fun. a mini moke. Mm-hmm. Did that. I know <laughs> that, that was pretty awesome running, driving normally on track in a single, or a single center seat. That's a fun one. 
I didn't have a great idea for this. I'm going future as well, not what what have we done. I think we need more hat cars, but make a fast hat car. I think yeah. we need a fast, reliable underneath, put something cool on top of your car. Like a Volga on a BMW? That could do not it. A- yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I don't just, know. Just, just do it, you know, like good. Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking we don't have enough hat cars anymore, but not making another Citroen, that's not a good idea. So no. Yeah. No. 70s French supercar with Maserati motors. Terrible. Right. Right. All all around. So make something cool underneath. It, I guess something cooler than um save Tata's kind of car. well, and it and it doesn't even have to be a car on top of a car. Uh I believe before uh Phil began to pull back into the life of a globe trotting pure automotive journalist uh he had mentioned wanting a fist, fist he just yeah. wants a car wants that's a fist, fist. think think wiener oh, mobile got it fist. got it oh yeah okay not a fiesta st right but if you made <laughs> no, a no, fiesta no. st yeah. into a actual five fist, that is- oh knuckle my sandwich. goodness yeah. that, that would be would- awesome <laughs> I love that idea. Yes to ST. Randy, Randy, go out to your garage and start destroying your Fiesta ST right now That's and funny. make it into a five finger knuckle sandwich. And it's 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 not all on here, but it, it just brought it up. Chris had a great one and we 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 never did do anything with it. Uh, but it was as the boat was really starting to get mature and quick and reliable, and you had all the go fast parts on it. Because the you know the the limited slip from a Camaro fits in there. You can get all the good brakes and all that kind of good stuff. And one thing that was never fully exploited was the all-wheel drive system out of an Oldsmobile Bravada. And Chris had both the build design and the theme, the Bravada. Just gonna let that one saturate. The, Same really... all-wheel drive system as the Cyclone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's not a lot of all-wheel drive things that are not Audis in lemons is there yeah uh, Audis and Subarus and they both break yeah so yep sure I'm yeah. sure GM did it much better than Audi or Subaru of so. course duh 90s GM pinnacle of quality oh boy how we make uh, them all right <laughs> <laughs> all right so there there's the crazy builds um i think all of these are viable i think we should do them all okay let's do them or all. or you dear listener are you inspired if you do you have a technical question of how do i connect a <laughs> 4.3 liter v6 to one of these brovada setups get us an email they came, they came in them so that's how uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> yep. anyway let's talk about our favorite part of the, making a lemons team race the theme we've done some brilliant themes and we've done some dumb themes and we've done some brilliant dumb themes and I, orange I, is not a color orange is not a theme hey, orange is was, not a theme that, that, that was, was a, a good one that was, was i like mean a good i'm not sure if that was good you, you it was know a good one time a only yes. make fun of some other thing yeah anyway. sure well and it's become a thing because it has become a thing it races, lives on <laughs> people start yelling black is not a theme or gray is not a theme. And, and then we join in because of course you if somebody else to. is identified well, that, that this is that black actually, and it's not a theme that came from rally master jeff because he was picking on the uh he was picking on an airline team uh out of auto and they had it was silver and he's like silver is not a theme and he just shouted that all weekend and then i think it just turned into every color is not a theme <laughs> i mean if it's yeah. just a color it's not a theme it's not wrong yep, yep. anyway so this okay is a let's theme talk about idea. themes this is a theme idea that we had once that we decided was too dumb to to do no we you were decided, very drunk you decided it was too dumb i, I decided still it was too dumb want to do. it i want I, I, I believe let me give a little history here we didn't I even believe, say what it is yet. Hold we're on. Get to it. Well, I, I have to tell I the story believe, how we come up with that's themes exactly what I want. And, I want to hear that because this one has a great story. It it, is alcohol involved? Yes. yes. Well, yes. yes. Well, yes. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> back back in the before days. What is the before we, what? Before then the before times. Before <laughs> COVID? Yes. Okay. In the before times. We 
always would go to Atlantic City the weekend yep. around okay, January, okay, right, the last right. weekend of of January, because Bruce on our team was race his little uh, TQ, TQ midgets racer, indoors yeah. there. It was only Bruce who was running, and obviously some people Bruce knows. So the rest of us would sit around and um, not help. Aaron would help him, but the rest of us would only help occasionally. But we'd mostly get drunk and make fun snacks. of him and, and make fun pull, of him too. Pull chairs out in front of yeah. him. And, and we had we had this wonderful. So we'd have Atlantic City bingo that we made yeah. for the weekend. Yeah, we did. Was great. We had so much fun. We so drank we're, so oh yeah, much. We so when we're good and blitzed, it was a great time to come up with themes. And as always, the best way to decide if you have a good theme is if you come up with a drunk and it's still funny and still a good idea the next day, then it's worth pursuing. It has to pass the test. This is one that didn't fully pass that test, but was the subject of quite a lot of laughs that night, without a doubt. And the theme is monkeys throwing poo because we know that monkeys throw poo and there's all kinds no. of ways you can for those that of you not theme. watching on youtube <laughs> mental has completely lost it because he he's still thinks this he's is broken. the best yeah. thing no ever. it's and it, it's uh, we had it all planned out with with costumes no. and things and then ways to annoy people all weekend and the cars and also we were going to have something called the pood piper who would then <laughs> gather the monkeys all up because you know that's what the pood piper does because he plays a tune that, uh, that attracts the monkeys that are throwing poo and so we had we had check this off your car that somebody hole. broke Mental's, yeah, mental's official totally if he, he could red fall as pretty if, close. He could, if he could fall on the floor <laughs> He the is doing piper. that. I had completely <laughs> forgotten about the food piper. Yeah. So I'm just, get, like, like, just imagine someone undercooked, showing undercooked, like undercooked brownies and and chocolate pudding. You're wasting the weekend, brownies all weekend. No, we're not going to use is, your mom's brownies. We're going to use crappy dumbest. store but, like Win Dixie brownies and just throw them at people. And then just, randomly, as cars drove by at New Hampshire, we would all just run out, make monkey noises, and throw poop. And 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 then they would be really annoyed, and I would say, "Somebody better call the Pood Piper and get these monkeys thrown poo out of here." And then somebody shows up in an effing kilt. With a flute. This is, flute. This is <laughs> with a flute and this plays is the, a ditty. This is the, all the dumbest idea him. I you've I've ever heard. I the best said thing is, is you could milk it all year. Like one year, no. One, oh, there's no, no way we're doing you, you this throw all it, year. You, you, do, no. you do monkeys throw poop no. for like two. And then then every other theme is just lead it. And one of them, and I, I still have this vision of no. everyone shows up in a suit. They are all I'm, dead. I'm not playing. And they've all got briefcases. And as the car rolls up and it looks like beige is not a theme, is your theme right there at BS inspection. And then everyone takes their briefcase, opens them up, and starts throwing poo. What? Because that would you'd, see, you'd have to set up the jokes first. You'd have to like they'd be ready to kill us if we showed up in monkey suits one more god dang time. They're like if the three pedal mafia shows up in the freaking monkey suits and I get hit with another effing brownie, brownie. I'm gonna punch him in the freaking head. And there we are in business suits. And they're like, thank God that not throwing poo this week. <laughs> Bam! Right in the yep. kisser. This is the dumbest idea. It's a so, terrible idea. It's, so it's a dumb. dumb idea. It's a really dumb idea, but it's obviously one that has given us a whole lot of laughs and hopefully given you some laughs, Gosh, too. Darn it. I'm so glad we yeah. think that we're funny. <laughs> is it any worse than Fantastic no. Shark? No. It's messier than Fantastic it's Shark. It's way messier than Fantastic Shark. <laughs> we would have to have a zookeeper with one of them, like a bucket and a shovel, walking around all weekend cleaning up all the poop. And, and someone with punishment. A, and someone a with a tranquilizer that's a, gun. That that's come a theme. Out, like... That's a bribe. You you show yeah. up with like one of those cheap, uh, you know, spirit Halloween knockoff zookeeper costumes, and you make. And if they get like three penalties, they've got to go fill a uh, clean up the or a, yeah, bucket. exactly. Got a, a, a Home Depot yeah. bucket full of poop. This is a terrible idea. Randy, don't steal this one. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this one did not make it through uh, the test. It did not. We're still I laughing at it, but it, this I'm is laughing. supposed to be 
dumb ideas. And this uh-huh. is a <laughs> dumb idea. Dumb idea. It's, <laughs> it's funny, but it's dumb. Okay. Okay. I don't even I know how to one. follow that. Like, I don't. Mic so drop. my uh, mic drop. I know. Well, I've got just a dumb one. It's, well, it's not dumb. It's one that I don't. I can't figure out how to do that. I think it'd be great if we did. Um, I would. So I am a dancer. I have a ba- I have a dance background, and I would love to do something like Single Ladies or Thriller. Every time Thriller comes on, I have this vision of how awesome it could be. But I have so. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Somebody's getting a beverage in my head. Um, I um, would that be Chris? Did he leave the mic yeah, to come annoy yeah, you in yeah. the kitchen? And that's he's standing there. See, um, this, this could work if everyone. Um, and, no. and I'm I apologize for the vision I'm about to put in everyone's head, but everyone on Three Puddle Mafia has to wear a single black unitard and clear stripper heels. It sounds all great week, all weekend. And at random times, the 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 boom box just starts playing all the single ladies, and it, everyone has to turn and start dancing. Right. Now, I don't know if you're as frightened by the idea of Wart Burglar Thief Aaron in a black leotard with clear stripper heels. Thank you. Right. And then, but, and then, but trying to round everybody up and trying, I guess maybe my, my expectation or my vision is that people actually understand the dance. And I think there's something to it that you could sure you could all, everybody wear black leotards and you could do the little shimmy that Jeff just did. And I'm sorry if you missed it on, uh, if you're no, listening be to the sorry podcast, they did watch it's it. It's fine. Right. So yes. Um, I think, but with both of those dances, it'd be great if we actually could get people together. First of all, we can't even round everybody up to do an actual theme that has an actual, script and we've practiced we still can't get everybody in the same room so letting every fi- actually figuring out every how everybody's going to do a dance it's just not a thing but i think it, it's, it's a great, it's great it's saturday night live sketch with justin timberlake oh and it's dancer. so good uh, and, right, the yes. oh exactly. they're very good right but they're paid to do that so um i can't get everybody in the same room to be able to do like well me i'm saying eric who is actually chorus uh, chor- has a choreography and is orchestrating a actual movie and we can't get everybody in the same room so i, I think the problem not is my the idea. only two people who really enjoy dancing on our team are like you and i absolutely like everyone right. else is like i don't really dance. okay so next time i'm gonna i need a dance theme i'm going to just make sure it's only two people and just work I, I, we've done that we did that with the miko he, I, well, I don't yes know we did the link dance. dance yes Gangnam we style did. was was just Gangnam the right amount of dancing that right. people could kind of do it but right. it was we did okay with Gangnam style yeah, yeah and the reason we did that is because we you know like the psy danced everyone else you know followed what the video did so the music right. video right. everybody could watch the music video yep you're right you're right actually the reason yep. that worked was to hide the turbo and no one ever popped the hood That's true. and then we took it off and it didn't matter yeah, anyway because it, it was terrible yes yep uh, yep that was great all right. All right. Uh, so oh. I have this like overly complex theme in mind that I think we would be great and we would all love and we would have a great time and everybody, nobody else would get it. Okay. And this is fake F1 teams and liveries. So Black Betty, we paint it pink and instead of like BWT, it's T-H-C. Rich energy. Oh, oh wait, no. It was sorry. better was... when it was ra- racing pot. Uh, you ra- <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that, that, that's a THC yeah. BWT. Yeah. Rich yeah. energy. Absolutely. We can make the new RX7. It's already black. Just make it rich energy. And then like the crescent is already orange. So it becomes like Mick Claire in. And it's some sort of like McDonald's Scottish mashup you know like the mazda is already kind of there with like the midori martini theme but then like for our costume dead bull honda exactly we have to be the people on the f1 team we wanted to make this video so bad so now like like somebody has to walk around and be an asshole and that's for stappen and then like Yes, so I nominate to go Jeff to be Verstappen because he would be the funniest. <laughs> Angry go man. Around, keep talking about how we're just we're just a, we're making ourselves look like a bunch of wankers here. You're Jeff. You're Jeff Brundle, yeah. forever. 
Exactly. No, but we wanted to make like an intro video. We were going to go the dun 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 dun, dun and we were all going to be like, no, exactly. we, that's not good pod. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we were going to do like little head shakes and like little the, the infamous, the infamous slow arm cross. Turn. Yep, right. And I'm exactly. zipping up my suit. suit. Yeah, uh, yep. yeah. All of those things. We were like, oh, that would be look so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's we had this vision, and then we were like, then we woke up the next morning. We we're like. We that's, a lot of pull this off. that's a lot yeah, of work <laughs> but not only that but nobody would get it like i don't think <laughs> some people would yeah if you're that if, big as long of as they were close fan. enough like yeah you, things like dead bull and petro nope and the um you know the thc instead of bwt if it was pink and blue like those things i think all could work i yeah i think the cars work better i don't know if we would work if, we it, would but the, look like the only way to make it worthwhile though is the people you have to do it you have to commit all weekend otherwise it's just oh look another team with a formula and, one and if also if you're like just Saturday in your normal you your normal in your normal race suit then exactly. you're like like you, when you i don't have anything cool unless you got patches or something to make it look like you're an F1 person because you're just like, well, is that your is that your normal suit? That, and or that's where it kind of falls apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you go get go get the um uh the one piece like you know from Amazon paint uh onesies and then just you know marker those up to look like a race suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Wait, it was like the sweats and the dumb ideas, like it's just not quite there. It's it's, it's right. so close. It's it's <laughs> it's a great germ of an idea. And the cars would be funny. It kind of loses it after that. Mm -hmm. If they throw poop, it gets. We're not throwing poop. <laughs> okay. Oh. What's your idea? <laughs> or you All don't right. have an idea? I, I do. It didn't show up <gasps> on here, and I'm surprised. I, no, I this is. No, no, no. Don't say this one. If... This is not off the table yet. No, this oh. is. A, no, no, no. This is no. happening. Okay. Because well, I think that's yet. hilarious. It's, it's not off the table yeah, yet. It just it just allows you to go around all weekend and be annoying. Oh, I I'm right. ready. And, I'm, and here's the deal. I'm gonna throw this out there. One. Oh, everybody time. hates okay. us right now. I'm very do, sorry. If you do F1 liveries and it starts to tank, or if you did all the single ladies and it starts to tank, it instantly gets funny again when you throw poop. Just. just oh no, those are the, the next thing on there. Those are the kind of things you, you have to poop move is past. Always funny. You have to move past it tanking. And keep going. And then eventually it becomes funny again that you're I, I, committing I, to the bit. I, I, yeah. I, I would say that I needed some sort of proof of concept of this, but we have the proof of concept. It's space pants, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, okay. Like, like, okay. Like space pants in the beginning, we were like, I see what you're doing there, but I'm not sure it's enough. And then they kept doing it. Seven, ra like, seven races like, later. All right, right. It's enough. It's enough, y'all. All right, it's enough. And then it was like, you know what? Space pants. And then we were all no. singing along. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. That's a that's yep. a big nope. No, yeah, that I'm, was I'm, it's an inverse bell curve of how of like I like, like that. <laughs> uh, I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. And I'm, it depends and I'm on the guy that laughed every time at space pants. There's a West. You didn't Coast see team. it nearly as much as we did. That's why you think it's funny. We saw There's it all the time. Wheels. We all like Coast it now. Team that does a Jamaican, that yeah, they do a Jamaican yeah. ska. They've got an Audi and they've got a big hat on their car. And it's all this very, you know, 80s London uh, kind of, you know, club classic uh, ska bit. And every time they drive by, they've always got the theme song playing. And you always, I, I just, I always <gasps> dance. It That's how I used to be with Nyan Cat. Boom. Nyan, Nyan Cat. Cat. Never got Someone sick of Nyan Cat. Ska. Every time you pass... <laughs> <laughs> Every time you pass Nyan Cat, it was always funny. Or Nyan Cat passed the, Doppler, the yeah, the yeah, yeah. effect. Yep, yep. <laughs> when it passed the garages in Sonoma, and you all just stand there and you dance for a second, and then it goes away, and everybody <laughs> just does that because it was awesome. Uh, I, I get it. That's right there. I, I, I think the problem with Nyan Cat is Nyan Cat is the OG annoy you with an with an internet song. No. It's Not. It, it's it's very very close. Right after when we all first raced together, and I went back to Oklahoma and got us all uh, running around there. And the first time uh, I met Mary and and that whole crew, there was an MR2 that had it was uh, they just covered it with rubber ducks of various sizes, and they had a recording playing in speakers facing backwards 
from a Christmas story. And it was just fra ra 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 That's it. On repeat. Oh no. On the track, everywhere you went, it was great. But that's what I'm saying. Like, like Nyan Cat did it first. Nope. This predates nine. Baby Cat. Shark just was annoying. <laughs> like from that That's moment true. on, like they did it the best so well that anything else pales in comparison. So yeah, maybe it wasn't the first, but it was the best, and it was like the first really, really good one. Also, Nyan Cat. Do you say it differently, Nyan Cat? Nyan Cat. I thought. I thought Nyan? it was Nyan, Nyan, Nyan Cat. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and why? Uh, Nyan Cat uh, is so not I call the internet expert the fourteen-year-old. No, nah, it's probably too <laughs> uh, Nyan Cat isn't annoying. It's annoying when you hear it over and over again, but it's like a fun song. The other songs we've listed are just downright. Let me punch you in the face. Annoying. Let me tell you about my amazing horse. <laughs> Don't. I talk about a bad theme. Yeah. See, I, I think it's cute. I don't know for 14 hours, but I'm not in the car. So it doesn't really matter. I might have to, I might have to negotiate. Okay. Other dumb stuff. We're darking other dumb stuff. Just dumb things we have done. Dumb things. Uh, and, and, yeah. and, and this is, this is good. You know, and speaking of things that have, done the inverse bell curve where it was funny and then really, really not funny. And then funny again. Uh, was trying, it funny again? Eh, it was never really funny. No, it, it was became, never it funny. Became, it became just a joke is a uh, dumb thing. Trying to have Jeff get a title for the Citroen. That's like OG joke on this podcast. <laughs> it's, it's I wish bad. it was just a joke, but yeah. it wasn't. It was actually an effort uh, air quotes. And then it effort. became funny. And then we'd finally sold the car. Whatever. <laughs> it yep. was funny. Never for me. Not, not, not <laughs> the, the jokes were funny. The holy night. Why are they returning this damn thing again? Yeah. The that hours the that we Standing spent. In line tra- right. Yeah. The hours that we spent doing paperwork. I was basically forging Jeff's signatures. I was getting all of my family members to sell a damn car to tell tell the state that they saw Jeff we with my car. We recruited other people. Uh, know, one person true. did a uh, a vent search. I remember going to the uh, police officer. Yes, you the, did the, the in Georgia. Secu- yeah, the school sheriff to yeah. try and get him to sign the vent verification document. And he's like, "This car." The joke rare? was fu- right. Signing this car's rare in New Jersey, <laughs> Pennsylvania. No, the I'm joke was funny. It. The effort put into it was yeah. not funny. It, it was very similar to trying to turbo the Honda. It was like. This will be great. 30 hours of effort later. Why isn't this working? 30 hours of effort later. <laughs> it's still not working, but I'm sure it'll work this time. 30 all, hours of effort all later. All to get a title for a car that had a dildo as a shifter. And then it's like, it's like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and didn't and would reverse <laughs> automatically yeah. and wouldn't drive forward. And oh, I, don't, I'm sorry, don't. copies don't work. We need the originals. I sent you the originals. You still have them. Okay. No, this no, is making no this is making me mad. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> not mad. Not mad Jeff at all. I'm mad. Yep. No, I, I'm triggered. triggered. This triggered, is triggered, not mad. Jeff's okay, I'm mad. Poo. Right. Stop it with yeah. the poo. Okay. I have a couple of these that I as I'm thinking about just generally dumb stuff. Uh, actually, Chris kind of came up with this, but I agreed. Um, we at one point, this is track stuff, not car related. Um, at one point, we did a, we do dinner and we'd make different things for dinner. And one of them was fajitas. So we made steak. We cut up all kinds of vegetables. We had all the toppings in different bowls with different spoons. And Chris walks away and says, that was great meal. We should do that again. And I was like, never again. There were so many dishes. There were so there was so much food. There were so many different plates. It was so much to coordinate. I was that we're never doing track fajitas again. So there's a dumb thing. Do not try them. And no, just don't. It was a lot of work. Okay, there's frantic typing going on here. Um, no, the, no, yeah, yeah. We keep thinking of dumber stuff. <laughs> okay. The, <laughs> the, 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 the next one is uh, early off on in my paddock. Uh, career, my career of making a great paddock. Um, what? I'm 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 reading you, what you're about uh, to talk about. Oh, 
I thought it was great. I So we also, backstory, we live next to a landfill. So I really think about what we're throwing away. And it really was like, we can, we're going to bring washable plates and bowls and we're just going to wash not, everything. We're not doing it. Disposable society anymore. We're Christmas not said. doing it. We're No, not anymore. We started out that way. This was NJMP, one of our first races. And I said, we're going to wash dishes. And, I, and so after like Saturday, I'm like, we're never doing this again. Uh, also, because where I was washing them was in a tiny sinks because they didn't have any place to wash dishes. No sinks. No, um, right. In the so bathroom sink, like pushing I was down in the, and getting like 30 seconds of fresher. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And so you're washing dishes and then you're like, if you forget to wash your the four plates you brought, then what are you eating on? Oh, I don't know. So we're I don't ever. Try, so we use uh, washable plates, just like um, serving plates. We have four serving plates, uh, two bowls and some some utensils that we use as washable things uh but never again the actual plates the like a butt bowls we went to ikea bought all kinds of nice plastic things mm -mm, not doing again that was dumb does somebody else want to add into here or i can do uh, yeah, no totally. I, that's great i, I think that's, that's a, why we we still use the we don't have water bottles that litter the world and then everyone yes. drinks half of and doesn't know it's theirs anymore and then it's hot and it doesn't work so we do we definitely did away with that and i like the the five gallon jugs yep two, jugs two of them everyone yeah. has a uh, just reusable water bottle that has saved us a tremendous amount of one-time use plastic trash and it's, yes it's, and it, money it was yeah. it was the, it was a good effort just that for particular aspect a particular bit of it not so much yeah but mm -mm. you know you you going in that direction was a good thing because it did kind of you know uh the logistics load of getting in and then just the waste that came out of a race weekend got heavily reduced but yeah no you, we could we could eat on some recycled plates i'm down with that you right paper some, you're like well crap you, you, yeah yeah use them once shoot i'm very sorry yeah. internet um you know environment but no, um be using using paper because that's biodegradable. Don't use the plastic ones or or styrofoam. styrofoam. Styrofoam, yeah. yeah uh, we try not to. Occasionally we do. They're a little cheaper. Anyway, uh, the next one on our list is frozen turkeys. I, now I'm triggered again. I thought I know you are. <laughs> frozen turkeys bought. I don't know if they were bought. Were they all bought near the track? Yes, yeah, they were. There was a yes, I called ahead. Concord. Yep. You're absolutely right. I called ahead. We picked up turkeys. They were very frozen. I swear they were not supposed to be frozen. I think there were five of them, six yeah. of them. Five or five, six, I think. Yeah. Five or yeah, six. Because we at the time we were doing um Thanksgiving that we, I took that on for a couple times, which just got to be too much. Uh with for a couple teams, Thanksgiving, everybody brought the sides. We brought all the turkeys. That was, I think, that night. I think people we ate it like like 10 o'clock maybe not because yeah. they were frozen though because i thawed those puppies <laughs> you're saying tell us how you thought so, 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 but... this is new hampshire motorsports it's october it's cold it was very cold we i in a normal environment they will fall from thursday to saturday saturday rolls around they are still bowling balls so i take them in the cooler where they were living supposedly thawing and i take them to the shower house <laughs> and i put the cooler in the shower and i turn on the hot water i don't see what the problem is showering you, with oh, the turkeys you took them out of the, the cooler i mean yeah to hold them up to the shower head for a minute or two yeah showering, showering with your with turkey your turkeys. <laughs> So frozen turkeys, make sure everything's thawed long yeah. before. Do not try to go grocery shopping to buy your turkeys at the grocery store two days before the race or a day before the, turkeys the race. turkeys in general are a fine idea if they're not frozen. Like, especially, yeah. well, if you're doing right. a limited number, like we've done I, one or two in the fryer. Yeah, we did two one. Is, yeah. Two is the uh, most amount you could do. Yep. You, you yeah. fry one. And what we didn't realize is, you know, because it's like 40 minutes to fry a turkey. Did we, we fry them we were, all? No, I thought we, we, we boxed them. In the, in the, in the, we the box in the, yeah. the box yeah the prior worked and the box didn't so yeah that was the problem yeah yeah that it was just kind of a mess so everybody's like yeah. cool we've got sides and we're like turkeys are like still like for <laughs> dangerous the, the, the yeah. ball yeah dangerous yeah. there you go there you go okay my last one i had to in insert it uh, our first couple races uh the dumb stuff was moonshine <laughs> then it then four loco happened 
for a little at while. Jeff's house. I don't know yeah. if that actually came too much of it came to races. This is the uh, old Four Loco, not the current stuff. Current stuff's for wimps. Oh, the is it? Four Loco. Do you yeah. drink Four, Four Loco? Locos, no, no, Four Loco is back, but they didn't. He's at a college campus. Down. Come on. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is original Four Loco then. And then uh, then I'm going to end just with Surge. Surge is never the answer. <laughs> especially when it's your last drink. Okay, I'm done with my dumb stuff. Uh, on, on the Four Locos, if you're bribing uh, any of the Lemons judges, don't don't bring Four Locos. It's, it's, they're not going to take them. They're not going to touch them. The track staff won't take them. No, they, it just goes straight into the trash. Just don't yeah. bring Four Locos. Yeah. No one wants that shit. It'll oh, mm -mm. add penalty laps, actually. Ooh. <laughs> you, get, you get a <laughs> lap a if bad, you give us Four it's Locos. not a bad one. Right. We we actually did give a team, uh, we, we cut them out of a thing one time because, um, at Gingerman, their bribe was, I will drink that case of cheap beer that some other team bribed you with. And we hooked them up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. And so, it, so, yeah. Okay. Here, here's my dumb ideas. Anytime you say, that's okay. We can finish this at the track. You have just created good, a dumb good. idea. I like it. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. You get done or, every... or I'll fix it tomorrow. Fix also a bad idea yeah. we talked you, about that you're, recently you're not gonna do that um untested unfinished cars so, uh, we, we, we just, we'll find someone to fix that 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 part of our cage don't don't do that have the car done and ready test it if possible before you get to the track now, if you've this got a if you've got a pit well. vehicle or a unique electronic that, device that's fine. that doesn't that you don't need for the race that you want fixed absolutely bring it to a lemons paddock because it'll go home probably working yeah well yeah, I'm, slightly better at least yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or slightly crashed more i don't know it depends <laughs> on who you, who you give it to uh here's another thing i don't know how you mfers out there are doing fiberglass cars yeah, corvettes and 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 all these other things that do, that space frame model whoo you that's not a good idea, people. Well, I, corvettes well, have enough metal to to attach yeah. it to. They have the whole yes, frame. But but you you become easy, right? you become uh you become good friends in a first name basis with John Pagel because he'll yeah. show you how to do it. But you're gonna want to talk to him a lot. Yeah, I I, I Corvette Lemons car. Well, that's just a dumb idea. Period. Not exactly dominating out there. No. And, no. It's it's the Lotuses yeah. that I worry more about because oh. those really don't have a frame Oof. on the outside. They have a backbone. That's gonna be hard to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. You people doing fiberglass cards, you're nuts. I can't help you. Uh, Metzo, were you going to say something about a pickle suit? I, I was, uh, but we're we're running a little long. Oh, Sorry, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. I just it was. Uh, I loved it. It was a. It was. I mentioned it in passing that when I was still judging for lemons, that I was going to be judging the Houston race with Sajeev who writes for Haggerty. And he had written a great article about how every used car dealership was buying the same script about how they, oh, I'm in a pickle. And they're all wearing pickle suits oh, and a team okay. showed up in a pickle suit to go along with that. It was fantastic. S Sajeev was flattered. I was flattered. It was awesome. Oh, it was fine. a brilliant, dumb thing to do. Well, my last thing was going to be because you were going to bring up pickle suit, and I was going to talk about Chris. Do you remember the pickle J? Yeah, pickle flavored it was vodka. Pickle flavored vodka. vodka. It was terrible. We passed that around like a joke. We were like, "Hey, try this," and everyone went, "Oh, that's horrible." And then some dude was like, "I like it." We're like, "The bottle is yours." Yeah, and he drank it that he night. Drank and that it. bottle was gone. I think he <laughs> slept on sorry for party's couch because he passed out there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm forty percent pickle, but eighty percent party. <laughs> yeah, not a good much. idea. Anyway, mental. Why don't you wrap it up with your favorite right. thing to do? Make a call out to the listeners. Why get ready for the next segment? Thank you for coming on this journey of stupidity. What was the most hella sweet idea we came up with tonight, and why is it monkey throwing poo? What was the dumbest idea we came up with tonight? Why is that? And why is it throwing poo? Throw. <laughs> All right. Tell us which idea you love. What idea do you want to steal? What are you going to do? Or what did we totally miss? And if you want to keep it a secret, tell us you want to keep it a secret and I'll just pass it to my co-host and we'll all laugh about it. No one will find out until you do it. But if you've got an idea you'd love to see executed and your team's not crazy enough, get a hold of us on any of our social medias. It is fantastic. Do we want to do this around the horn or just move on to our next 
I think I'm going to do my just the goat. Yeah, let's We're go around. End it there. Yep. Just the goat. Yeah, it's yeah. not even one goat now. It's no, no, the no. goat. The it's goat's one always goat there. Or and just, Jeff is yeah, totally going to. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're an SCCA member. I, I am still at currently. So I just received my January, February edition of Sports Card Magazine. Comes you know, with a calendar. Comes, comes with a calendar. It's February. It's, it's February 22nd, people. <laughs> Why is the SCCA just giving me my Mazda Motorsports calendar now? This is great. I Whoever has it. January is going to be pissed because no I, one's going to see them. See January <laughs> and is. they do this every year, actually, because yeah. mine always gets hung up in my garage when I'm trying to plan some dumb idea. And yeah, it always comes like mid-February. I got mine last week. So, so I'm sitting here opening up my sports car magazine and I'm like, these idiots can't do anything right. Who even cares about this? And I pop it open and there's a great story on the Michigan SCCA rally. Oh, one of our alien friends. And, and there I am staring at a picture of my father, his rally car or his rally car. Oh, that him rally. helping somebody in here. TSD rally, yes. TSD rally. So all those for those of you who don't know, my father, ancient, seventy thousand year old man, is still doing SCCA rallies and winning championships and things. And I'm sitting here swearing about how stupid the SCCA magazine is, and there it is covering this weirdo esoteric sport that uses more math than it used throttle pedal. And there's a picture of my dad. So I can't be mad at you, SCCA. Just the goat or just one goat. I don't know what the sports car magazine is this year, this month, but there it is. That's all I wanted to say. What do y'all think? Should I continue my SCCA membership and continue? I love that regardless of our opinion, you think you would actually let your SCCA membership lapse. You oh, and, I've let it lapse. You and your previously. brother are on the board. Now my brother is not me. All I only right. did it this year so I could go auto crossing and that went terrible. So I don't know. <laughs> we both know. We all four know you're going to stay an SCCA member. Some card right there. <laughs> oh, good. Good. We need. Uh, I am my desk. so I excited for what Chrissy is about to tell next us. Next show promo. Tell us what's going on. Oh, well, it doesn't even have to be next show promo. It's just that's where I put it here. Um, no. It is almost time for F1. Woo! I, we, yeah! I am. I'm very excited. I have I actually found bingo uh for this weekend's um practice because that's fun. But anyway, oh, F1 I, I did. It's on Slack. I know, um, I know I'm just saying. Okay, it's time for F1. We are playing fantasy again. Be on our fantasy league. We're gonna play on fantasy GP. So last year we played on F1. Everybody hated it. I have no idea who won. Probably we don't care. Um, fantasy GP is run by I think it's just like a dude. Uh, it's very well run. It's a great program. It it makes you log in all the time. You want to log in all the time so you can make the extra picks and you get more points for the picks if you just get once a week to make your picks on yep. things. But that yeah, that's yeah, the yeah but that was totally missing in the F1. Yep, you F1. we did not care. So um, so yeah, so fantasygp.com. Um, join our league. Uh, it's called Everyone Racers. There's a number. Uh, I can give it to you now, but if you're driving, you don't care. And it's going to be There'll our be link. A link, is, in the show notes, link so show notes. It's it's a number. So three eight six four eight zero nine four is the number that you will need to look for. So um, yeah. So join us. There's only four teams so far. So more fun it's the merrier. Easy to join. Easy to set up your team. Uh, it it's is free. free. Yep. yep. Yeah. You don't Cash have to go through like a lot smoother this way. You don't have to go through a bajillion logins on F1 page and it's all good. So yeah, fun, a fun times ahead. Join Let us. me just shout out real quick. Not only do you pick your team, but you make predictions per race. Who's mm -hmm. going to have the best qualifying. And then there's always like, Oh, how many flags are there? Yellow flags. So it actually keeps you interested and engaged. And we might as well shout out, Hey, here, listeners, we're actually going up against some of the members of the uh, Garage Heroes podcast, uh, which we know you're, you probably listen to both. I mean, really, the Venn diagram. The Venn diagram is again. close. Um, but Apex so, adjacent totally whooped up on us last year. Well, Ian. Yeah. So join our league. Uh, tag that you are a fan of either the Garage Heroes or E1R, and uh, we'll see who can put together the best fans, right? We'll send swag to anyone who beats us, to the winners. Well, Bill's going to send Not swag to everyone. Us. Yeah, that'll be that's... everybody because we'll be at the <laughs> bottom of the list. Awesome. Oh. 
fantasygpa.com. Join our link. The number for our league will be in the show notes, but it's 386 48094. Is that it? Is that all we're doing? That's it. Are we ready? Ready for the ending? Is it, is it the end times already? It's like the before times. Thanks for downloading us. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Everyone Racers. We also hope you'll join us in the world of driving, racing, and building because everyone can be a racer, even you. If you enjoyed this podcast, subscribe. It's totally free. Then go to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. Even if you hated us, give us five stars. Tell us why. It's been a while since we've had an iTunes rating. Uh, caress the like and share button on your YouTube, all that good stuff. If you have any questions or show ideas or want to tell us about your dumb idea, drop a comment on our Facebook page, Everyone Racers, or email us at everyone.racers at gmail.com. You can still text MENTAL 484-243-0455, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, we're everywhere, even Reddit at slash E1R. Thanks again, and keep the shiny side up unless those damn monkeys have thrown poo all over all the sides then just keep those wheels down <laughs>